Hey, Saturday, not long finished work. Propped up against a built room wall because I can't be asked doing it on my desk. Just pondering over what's going on in the UK in general. And it's, it's really weird, right? Hello, baby. There, Rose, Raven. Energy caps. The average bill now is three grand plus per year per household. Energy companies have made major profits, some of the biggest profits they've ever made in the billions. And what does the government do? Fuck all, right? Why does the government do fuck all? Because they're getting money off it, right? Please explain to me how with the average pay, people are going to be able to even afford to pay for electricity gas and heating this winter never mind the elderly you know what i mean you know how you know what i mean we can't explain it can we hello henry give me five minutes mate henry the cat here being demanding you know how do we how do we sort it out how do we sort it out do you know what i mean how do we sort it out because it's a it's a travesty how many deaths this winter are going to occur because people cannot afford their heating I mean, how many? Okay. Now, never mind that situation. Let's look at what's happening with the uh, the channel and the channel crossing. How many illegal immigrants have come over this year? They're not war torn from war torn countries. They've not come from oppression. All right. And why have they come to the UK? They come to the UK because the UK has a benefit system. Okay. It's another burden on the taxpayer. People like you guys, okay, like me. You know, we're now struggling for the everyday costs of life while we have people living for free off our backs. It's not right. The government sits back and does nothing. The government sits back and does nothing. And yet we're expected to bend over and take that up the arse and say thank you while they tax us, while we're taking it up the arse. It's not right. It's really frustrating. Um... It gets me, it gets me massively. NHS is tits up and then they're going, oh, you know, monkeypox virus, monkeypox virus, get injections, get injections. Bullshit. Do you think we're fucking stupid? Okay. They must think we're stupid people, even for, for COVID. Do your research, man. The data's online on the government sites. Don't be fooled by media. You know, the media is sensationalised and bullshit. It's so much stuff, it's wrong. And we sit back. Well, I don't sit back. You fuckers sit back and just moan. Right? I do shit. I'll get out and I'll fucking do something about shit. I don't agree with the fact that, you know, the government is just fucking shafting us, claiming, oh, because of the war in the Ukraine and Russia, it's got fuck all to do with the war with Russia and Ukraine. Nothing. Nothing. We get nothing from Russia. We get nothing from Russia. Do you understand me? Nothing. We get the odd tourists. That's it. Don't let the government lie to you. I, I don't get you people. Oh, we're the woke generation. How you fuck? Right? How you fuck? Even with the policing, man. Like, last week, which is, we're witnessing the two guys from the same country fighting it out, okay, over some nonsense. And then the cops splitting them up and one of them calling the other guy racist. And then a, a cop are coming up and going, or we've got to uh, investigate a racist incident. Are you fucking stupid? This is two men fighting from the same country who speak the same language. You look almost fucking identical. Sort your shit out. They're more concerned with like PC shit than fucking doing their job. Do your fucking job, coppers. You're taking the piss, mate. What are we paying for? You are public servants failing to do your duty. Who can you genuinely rely on? Right? <laughs> the paramedics and the fire service. You're not even going to get one. Even now for them, it's like the wait times are abhorrently ridiculous. That's not because of the, the medics and the paramedics and the doctors and the nurses. That's for all to do with them. That's to do with the fact that the government are squeezing left, right and centre. Why are they doing this? Because they want you, the individual, to have private health insurance. So if you all get private health insurance, what the fuck are we paying for the National Health Service for? Why are we paying for the National Health Service? When they would like us to have the private insurance. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, right? It's nonsense and bullshit. You know, when your local MP is having all their shit paid for, 
by you, the taxpayer, and they're living healthy and they're not stressing over their winter bills or food or anything else, he needs to start questioning. And to those bastards that voted in the Conservative Party in the first place, I hope you're feeling the pinch and the pain on your fundings and your savings. And now it's tearing your houses apart. OK, let's see how many deaths we have this winter because the elderly cannot afford to pay for their fucking fuel bills. Let's see. And on another note, you boys and girls, when you, you know, I get loads of shit popping up in my YouTube feed like all you guys do. I never dislike anything. I just don't watch the content anymore. Do you know what I mean? If I disagree with something and I think it's really wrong, I'll leave a little quote or whatever, or I'll leave my my personal view. All right, and if it offends, it offends, if it upsets me, upsets me, it's fine. That's what it's about. But I would never just do the thumbs down or the thumbs up or the thumbs down. It's irrelevant bullshit. No one gives a fuck. If you don't like watching people's content, don't watch it. It's that simple. That's what I do. That's what most normal people do. But for some of you, you can't help yourselves. You have to like, uh, your opinions are irrelevant. Same as my opinions are irrelevant on 99% of the stuff on YouTube. Doesn't mean fuck all. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> they don't, unless it's some like high-end topic where we can all like throw our pennies worth in because we're, we're safe in our houses and, and behind our screens. Right? It's bullshit really, isn't it? Media's bullshit. But for me, it's a good way to express uh, a lot of things. 99% of the stuff like I do on YouTube is me ranting about things that I find just wrong. And a lot of mental health stuff because it's good for me. I don't really care if anybody watches. It sounds weird that, doesn't it? But it's the truth. Because I can look back on these and see my own state of mind, which is really helpful. But anyway, boys and girls, I digress from the situation. We need to sort out the government. Okay. It's getting to the point now where minority groups have more rights than the majority. And the last time I checked it, you know, it was like, we're all equal under the eyes of the law, but it seems that we are not, unless you're from a, a minority ethnic group or it's a religious thing or it's this or it's that. And I witnessed it, like I said last week, with how stupid the coppers were when two men from the same country were fighting it out and one of them went, well, he's racist. They were more asked about sorting out the racial issue. Oh no, <gasps> he's offended him racially. How dare he? And sort out the fact that there were two fucking grown men fighting outside an area in the city centre where there were children and families. What does that tell you? It tells you that the police are being told to target certain types of behaviour. Mate, do your fucking jobs. It's embarrassing. But anyway, it's a Saturday night waffle. When it's going to acquire the shower and wash the world away. Um, I'm waiting for the, the winter to come. Because I'll be into my clinical year then for studies and I'll give an opinion once the winter's over. Peace and blessings on you all. <laughs>